So the Elko is not in the neighborhood. It's back on the road. Uh, in a nice place. Not too far from the house, but it is kind of under I-70. Just to take the Elko out. The brakes are horrible in this thing. So, uh, I didn't do the, the blazer brake upgrade. I plan on doing it for the Monty. I think this one will get it too. But you can see, the Elko is running. Did get it out of the house. Alright, it's out in the neighborhood. It's running pretty good. Besides the brakes. So the brakes. Uh, that's the next thing. But um, it's running good. Air fuel ratios, they stayed where they needed to be. Um, but uh, it's a good feeling to finally be able to take her out. It's been, I don't know how long since I really drove her, but she does look good. I'll give you guys a breakdown on what the car is, what's done to it, and uh, man, it's just, it's just a good feeling to be able to drive it again. There she goes. It's dirty. <laughs> so here's a breakdown of the car. Hopefully the road noise isn't too bad. It's a 1980 El Camino. Um, I've pretty much done all the work to it. Uh, paint, the bad body work, that's all on me. Um, <laughs> but it is a, it's a single stage. I tried to get it to Summit White, the closest to my Camaro. Um, excuse the mess, I didn't uh, clean it out. But it does have a Herculiner, Herculiner roll-in bed liner. Um, it's on 17 by 8 uh, US mag wheels. The interior, just some... Uh, I let a truck pass, but um, like I said the interior is pretty basic. I still want to fix the center console a little bit, but it's just uh, the center consoles for some type of just uh, cheap or wood to build stuff with and vinyl wrap, nothing too fancy. Uh, the seats found them on uh, Craigslist before Facebook Marketplace was a big thing. Um, just some a couple bucket seats in there. Uh, the dash, I still want to upgrade to uh, some type of digital dash. i probably go with Holly. I did go with the Holly uh, Terminator system. It's not the Max, because uh, I was running a TH350, and now it's a T5 out of, uh, I believe, a 91 Camaro. So that's pretty much uh, the interior. The dash, um, looking at it now, I think I will try to find another one and uh, redo it. But um, that's pretty much it for the interior. Oh, also just have uh, two six by nines back there. And I relocated the battery to the uh, smuggler's box. As far as under the hood. Um, is a 5.3 Vortec. I found this on Facebook Marketplace. Some guy already pulled it. Uh, just said it's from an early 2000s Chevy truck. So not, uh, I don't know the exact year it came out of, but I think it's like the, probably 03, 02, 03-ish. Um, as far as internals, I'm not sure it's done. If it is cammed or not, um, I believe it is all stock. Did uh, some S10 headers, got those off Amazon or eBay. They're just uh, inexpensive shorty headers. Still have to clean up the wiring. Um, 
found a K&N air filter at U Pull and Pay. So, pick that up. Just uh, like the look of it. Cleans it up. Um, at the fans, I believe they are Intrepid fans. Um, have them wired up to a switch. They are also ran off the Terminator X system. But I like running off the switch just so I know they're on. Uh, I believe it's a three core radiator. But um, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple build. Um, uh, you go with QA1 upper and lower control arms. Does have one uh, one inch drop springs on there. But um, like I said this car. I got it to learn or to teach myself about cars or working on them and I think I've learned quite a bit uh, there's been a lot of trial and errors on it but I'm happy on how it's coming out that's why I went ahead and picked up the Monty uh, so I, I know what to do and what not to do now like I said, it's probably all road noise so uh probably not even gonna be able to use this video but there it is 1980 El Camino so we did go for a little bit of a drive and it's pretty dry under there there's one little drip or drip there so not sure what that is but that's the car I said uh, with the road noise I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use the video or not or at least not the audio. Um, there's small things I still have to do with the car. Like I said when I painted it, these uh, headlights, they suck, so I didn't even take them off, just painted over there. Still wanna change the Chevy, or the Chevy badge. Uh, might just repaint it. There's a light bar on here. Uh, I hit it behind the, the grill. So it's a directional uh, light bar. So if it is on, it's not flooding. It doesn't blind everybody. It's kind of pointed closer to the ground. Um, just small touches like that. Just uh, to make it my own. But I said, just still, just small things I have to do to it, like trim pieces. Have to put some screws in those, get them back up, Re repaint uh, that trim piece on that pillar, and get a headliner. But other than that, it's just a walk around on the car. 1980 El Camino, aka Aaliyah. It's an LS swaps with a T5 transmission.